Hello YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. Today we are looking at this Schafferhofer Grapefruit Mix. Uh, this is a this is basically a Rattler. It is 2.5% alcohol by volume. It is a 50-50 mix with Schaffer, Schafferhofer uh, Weizen and grapefruit juice is what it says uh, right back here. Let's zoom in here. <sighs> Wheat beer beverage containing a 50% Schafferheiser wheat beer and 50% grapefruit drink. Ooh, grapefruit drink, so not even juice. Okay. So, let's zoom out before we get into all those ingredients. Uh, I'm still a little okay with this because of the fact that Schafferhofer wheat was basically tasteless. So, this might be okay. Uh, we're going to zoom in just to read the ingredients here. Wheat beer. Water, wheat, malt, barley malt, hop extract, and yeast. Grapefruit drink. Water, grapefruit juice from concentrate. Sugar, lemon juice from concentrate. Orange juice from concentrate. Carbon dioxide, lemon and orange extract. Citric acid, exorbic acid. Natural grapefruit flavor. Cochineal, carabine gum. The natural ingredients may form a sediment at the bottom of the bottle. And yes, there is a sediment at the bottom of the bottle. Okay, let's put the Rattler down. Let's turn the camera around so you can see my smiling face. And let's deal with this here beer. Shall we? Shall we deal with this beer? Let's do it, eh? Let's do it. Um, so... First off, glad to see an ingredients list. Second off, somewhat saddened and sickened by that ingredients list. Grapefruit juice from concentrate, okay sure, all the juices from concentrate I can accept. I mean the lemon juice and orange juice is only really in there to balance out the flavor of the grapefruit juice. Okay, the same with the sugar, okay. But um, then you add orange and lemon extracts and you add natural grapefruit flavor. How about this? Just add extra grapefruit. Just add extra grapefruit. Um, I don't know why we need the carabine gum. That just really should uh, make it a little thicker. And you know what? Let the mouthfeel be thin. It's a 2% alcohol beer. There you go. Bright, bright white head. And just like you saw in there, kind of like an orange grapefruit juice like look. Looks like fruit juice, just not really like grapefruit juice. Smell. Ooh. Okay, out of the bottle, grapefruit. Grapefruit out of the bottle, it actually smells so much like Stiegel Radler out of the bottle that I'm excited. Beautiful. Out of the glass, not so beautiful. Out of the glass, you're getting a little bit of funk, a little bit of weediness, a little bit of a uh, sugared grapefruit scent. Uh, it doesn't smell bad, it's just not nearly as good as it was smelling out of the bottle. Ooh, what was that piece of metal? Anyway, let's try it. Cheers, boys and squirrels. Okay. Weird texture, almost chewy texture. Um, I do like my beers thicker, but not my 2.5% alcohol Rattlers thicker. Uh, it is a thick, almost syrupy beer. It's just strange because of that. The taste. Kind of like what I would expect if Bud made a Bud Light Grapefruit Arita. Um, sweet grapefruit, very sweet. So a little bit of grapefruit and the orange juice and the sugar cut through. You're not really getting much of the lemon. I thought the lemon would help balance out the sweet, the sweet and sour, but it isn't. It isn't really there. You're getting a touch of grapefruit. You're getting some orange juice. You're getting some sugar, and it's it's kind of tasting 
artificial and fake, even though it's only pseudo artificial. I mean, most of the ingredients on that list are completely natural um, or naturally created. I like the natural flavors, it's it's natural, but we create it, so it's not fully nat. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, this is ice cold. You're not tasting any uh, flaws in it. I did drink one warm, and it wasn't very good at all. Uh, I'm glad I didn't review the one I drank warm. See, I can drink a Stiegel Radler warm. I can't drink this warm. So I'm glad that I'm having this cold. You know what? When it finishes, it kind of it kind of comes off like the um, no-name creamsicle taste, like that uh, orange and vanilla taste you get from a creamsicle, but the the very fake orange and vanilla taste you get from the no-name versions. That's what it comes off as at the finish. Uh, before that, it's actually pretty good. So my only two drawbacks on this beer, not even looking at the ingredients list, my only two drawbacks of this beer are. the texture, the mouthfeel, and that creamsicle finish, because I hate creamsicles. Uh, other than those two things, actually a good summer beer, I'll give it a six. You know what, it isn't a bad beer. If you really like your Rattlers and stuff in, in the summer, this could be a good one for you, but uh, truthfully, I would probably go out and buy either orange juice, like good orange juice, be Tropicana or anything like that, or good grapefruit juice and mix my own if my choices were this or mixing my own. Um, Stiegel Rattler, on the other hand, I really like. I would pick up a Stiegel Rattler. I actually do pick up Stiegel Rattlers. I have six of them sitting over there. So, compared to Stiegel Rattler, don't like it as much. Compared to, say, like, Rickard's Shandy or something, I'd rather drink this. Or uh, Waterloo's Rattler from a few years ago. Rather drink this. I haven't had this year's one, the uh, grapefruit one. I was never able to find it, so I sadly left out of that. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and have yourselves a wonderful evening. Bye bye.